Businesses across the globe use Twitter to generate awareness, connect with customers and drive sales. Twitter is a real-time information network where people can discover what's happening in the world right now, share information instantly and connect with people and businesses around the globe. With all this real-time information, how do you find out what's really going on in your industry and what your customers are interested in? Do you want to drive awareness by raising the profile of your business and increase the impact of your marketing? Don't you want to provide better customer service and connect with influencers? Sure you do, but how do you handle and analyse the huge amount of data that passes through Twitter every minute of the day? With SAP HANA, we have developed a Twitter analysis app to address and analyse some of the unstructured data we receive from everyday tweets. So let's see how it works. Structured data typically can be easily organised. It's clean and analytical where the information is on hand. As for this structured example on the left, we know what the context of the situation is. You have a 1500 kilogram mass and it's approaching this person's head at 45.3 metres per second. With the unstructured example, it represents a lot of how data is received today. It does not give us any great context of the situation and therefore the information may not be very useful, especially with an element of the unknown that can have real consequences. We hear the term unstructured data often. It's brought up as the enormous challenge of big data and often cited as the reason why traditional relational databases don't meet the needs of big data. But that conversation doesn't adequately describe the challenge organisations face with unstructured data. We seem to be digitising everything in sight and sharing it across the enterprise, our partners and our personal connections. Despite everything that we've accomplished, there is still an enormous amount of information that sits in text documents and presentations, graphics, email, audio, video, web pages and also in various office software. This kind of data continues to grow larger and presents a real problem for organisations that want to automate and improve their ability to understand their business, anticipate what's coming and act quickly on risk and opportunity. So how do we address some of these issues in handling big unstructured data in the Twitter world? The Twitter Analysis app provides the infrastructure to analyse unstructured data. It allows us to analyse the whole context of a given term or sentence by extracting information. So let's first talk about text and sentiment analysis. Text analysis gives structure to two types of elements from unstructured text. And using the SAP HANA libraries, we can extract different entity types for analysis. If we look at the first element, which is referred to as core entities. If you look at this sentence, for example, we can extract the person or identity and organisational information. We can extract entity types that support the who, what, when and where, how much or generic type concepts. Using the SAP HANA libraries, we are able to identify that, for example, the person from this sentence is Bruce Dickinson, who belongs to Iron Maiden, which is an entertainment type organisation. Then we have domain extraction which captures the specific topics or objects and its sentiments. So again, using the SAP HANA libraries, we can extract the characteristics of sentiment analysis, which we call domain extraction, where you're looking for facts, relations or states among entities. You're looking for positive or negative or neutral sentiments or emotions. And you can analyse their intensity as weak or strong. And in this example, we can determine that the sentiment is love and that it's a positive sentiment. And the topic of this sentiment is your product. The purpose of sentiment analysis is to determine the attitude of a speaker or a writer with respect to a specific topic. The Twitter app we have created provides structure around these elements for analysis, where we can provide some real context around all of the information. So what's happening behind the scenes of the Twitter app? We have two applications working together. We first utilise the Twitter API. This is a public API or interface for extracting tweets based on specific hashtag terms such as 
hashtag SAP Business One if we are wanting all of the tweets relating to SAP Business One. To request this type of information from Twitter, we are using a Twitter retriever based on a framework called Node.js and by utilizing its views, it makes the whole process easier. So every time I receive a new tweet from Twitter, the Tweet Retriever node server is started on SAP HANA to monitor any type of hashtag information that we're looking for. On SAP HANA, we use the XS application to perform all kinds of data analysis. Then via SAP Business One or your desktop or mobile device or anywhere you can access the SAP HANA server, using a web browser, we can simply access the HANA server and gather and review any tweet information stored on HANA. So let's log into SAP HANA and check out the text analysis and sentiment analysis dashboard of the Twitter analysis app. We're now going to log into SAP HANA by typing our username and password. Once we have logged into our Twitter analysis app on SAP HANA, we're presented with the text analysis dashboard. Here we can see the number of tweets being retrieved. We can also include the number of users and the number of times, for example, a company or organization has been mentioned under the relevant hashtag terms and people that are popular with particular hashtag subjects. You can then visualize this information where, for example, we can create a, a chart that determines the top mentioned people. So, for example, the top mentioned people under hashtag news in Twitter was Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, who was the latest British royal baby born at the time that this application was running and clearly a hot topic at that particular time. We can also segment the tweets by region. So you can also see the countries that are, for example, most actively tweeting the type of information that you're looking for. As well as the most impactful subjects, you can also see the most top mentioned brands. So for example, Facebook, Google or Apple, for example, are some of the most top mentioned brands within the hashtag terms that you're looking for. The most impactful subjects can determine, for example, the type of subjects that are being discussed, uh, whether it be a person or a country or a title or a specific locality or topic. You can also drill down and review the latest tweets that have also been retrieved and you can drill down into those tweets. If we go into the sentiment analysis dashboard, we can again see the number of tweets and how many sentiments were actually captured and whether they were positive or negative sentiments. We can also see the breakdown of those sentiments. So we've chosen to search based on the hashtag terms Amazon, Best Buy, Starbucks and Target customers. And based on Amazon customers, we can see that the breakdown of tweets that we've received is largely positive. So there's been positive sentiments around Amazon related customers. If we have a look at Best Buy customers, again, you can actually see the breakdown of, of tweets, whether it be a strong positive sentiment, a weak positive sentiment, or a strong negative sentiment, and a weak negative sentiment. You've also got the ability to review the last positive or negative sentiments for these particular customers. We've also got the ability, for example, to review these sentiments from different languages. So we can pull up and extract the sentences that might be in different languages and review whether or not they are also positive or negative sentiments. We also have the same type of analysis for SAP Business One tweets. So by clicking on our SAP Business One tweets, we can see the number of tweets that have been tweeted relating to hashtag SAP Business One. And we can also see the top hashtag topics. So for example, we've just had and run our successful SAP Business One Partner Summits for 2015, and there've been a number of tweets around that particular topic. We can also review the sentiments that have been captured, the locations of where those tweets have come from, and the number of users that have been actively tweeting relating to that particular topic. 
we can also review the last sentiments that have been captured relating to SAP Business One. If we go back to our main menu, we also have the ability to do some text mining of your own based on specific terms. So you might want to actually mine information regarding a term such as HANA. And what that will do is bring up all of the tweets relating to the specific term SAP HANA. So this is a really simple example of how you can extract and analyse any type of information that we receive from Twitter. So check out the technical guide on how to develop and leverage the Twitter analysis app following the SAP Community Network link. The showcase of this Twitter analysis app on SAP HANA has been developed by the SAP Business One Solution Architects team and is for demonstration purposes only.